How you guys doing? Good. I'm how good. you doing? I'm good. Are you wearing sunscreen? No. I'm gonna. Uh, you might pay the price. You're like me a little bit. I am. We're we're one in the same. Yeah, I think I think you're effed. But you yeah. know. Uh, <laughs> so first, I'm gonna start with congratulations on Universal putting this amazing matte painting behind you. Yeah, it, is. it looks like the real thing. It really does, actually. Um, so I love this movie. It's so well done. And the one thing I took away from it is that I do not have what it takes to be an astronaut. <laughs> I no way could I do this. Honestly, do you think either of you have what it takes to do what you portrayed in, in the film? No, I don't have it. I, I mean, I would, I would love to go. I think I have certain elements. Like, I would do it if, if someone just put me in the spaceship. I'll, I'll go because I, I, I would love to do that. But yeah. the amount of work that went in, I mean, oh, my gosh. These people, they sacrificed everything, everything. And um, they were as committed as I think anyone to anything in in history, you know. So it was, uh, I think these people are pretty incredible. Yeah. They're absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, it's hard. I don't know that one could say that about themselves. I would certainly, I would certainly give it a shot. I mean, if I'm you're in say that you, time. You, I'm going to say maybe you fail the third day. The third day? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> third day is third day's the, the, like, sun Sure. The sun test, the sunburn test. <laughs> you and me were cut third we're day. Done. Oh, please, like, I don't even make it. Those in guys the... are red. Get them out of here. Right. <laughs> I don't even make it in the room. They yeah. look at me and they're like, out. <laughs> no way. Daywalker, get out. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, but the thing that, uh, w I, w another thing I took away from this is just how much everyone was willing to sacrifice to make this mission happen. And the, the you know, it's unbelievable, the, the true story for you guys when you're researching this thing is there one or two things that has really stuck with you in terms of oh my god I can't believe they did this they, they definitely I mean um, yeah, I read Michael Collins' book it's called Carrying the Fire and it just goes through step by step by step by step what it took to get there um, from being a, a test pilot all the way into the program and, and becoming a, a, an astronaut and there is one thing after another that would just be nearly impossible. And the amount of studying, the amount of training, I mean, these guys were dropped off in jungles and deserts for, for, for a week just to survive, just in case, like, the, you know, the command module happened to land in some weird place so they understood how to survive. Um, I mean, there's just the, the amount of work that it took is incomprehensible, really. Yeah. It was like the, the physics of orbital mechanics was crazy to me that was like the one thing where i was like are you kidding i had no idea that sounds impossible like getting two spacecraft in orbit to line up and synchronize in orbit and then make contact with each other is an unbelievable feat like uh what was his name butch the the pilot that was showing us around in houston oh yeah yeah he was he was talking because so. he started telling me about orbital mechanics and how like if one spacecraft is like 10 feet higher in orbit than another, the lower one will travel significantly faster. So if you're trying to meet the other spacecraft in orbit and you're trying to like, like I think Neil even says it in the film, thrust to meet sure. that thing, you're actually going slower than you think you are. It's like the most counterintuitive, crazy physics that I'd never heard of. And I was like, that's impossible. <laughs> and again, that's why we wouldn't make it. Yeah. My last thing for you guys, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Damien's work. Uh, can you share a little bit about what it was like collaborating with him and maybe what surprised you about working with him? Well, he's younger than me. That's the first time that's happened in my career, which was awesome. Um, but he's, uh, he's really sharp. Like, he's, um, he's a very affable guy, you know. He's, he's fun to get to know, but he is so prepared and so specific in his preparation. Like, he and Linus, uh, this, our cinematographer, and Ryan... Um, were were so synced up by the time that we got to filming that it was just like they were just executing the plan. It was like it was uh, it flowed very nicely, and um, you know he's a young guy, but it, I was sitting there, I was like, I'm watching a master filmmaker right now. It's pretty incredible. He's my favorite filmmaker in a long time, honestly. So when as soon as I saw Whiplash, I'm like, wow, what the hell is this? This is unbelievable. I couldn't believe it when I saw that film. I watched it seven times or something. I haven't done that in years, like 10, 15 years. So I'm a big, big fan of his, and it was very cool to get to be in a movie 
that he directed, especially with this as the subject matter. It was uh, pretty special. Cool. I got to stop there. Um, seriously, congrats. The movie is fucking awesome.